All right, hello everyone. So today is the 5th of December. Now this week I think we're going to have um, the opportunities to really do some good swings. The market should still carry on going. Um, as I've said in my Twitter post as well, this should still carry on going in that direction. And until we're going to find a spot which should be in midweek. Now I'm going to put the swing days for um, everything like I always do in the members area. And the important thing here is to understand that this month, this week, I'm sorry, this week, we should come to a spot where the market should come into a good swing, which we want to utilize. All right, so it's going to be a good week, I reckon. Let's take a look at gold. Now, this is the week, you're in a new week, but let's start with the monthly, right? This is the monthly here. And also, guys, if you checked out Friday, we had all these astro hours happening. Okay, so that was, remember on Thursday, I said, this is going to extend until the Asia session. And that's the Asia session there. It really like extended all the way into there. And then we had a big fall and that was the astrological hour there. And also this astrological hour here, this is for gold, by the way, right? Fell right in there. As you can see that boom in the Euro, it was a bit, it was spot on there, right on the five minute chart. Okay, so that was an astrological hour. Once again, Thursday, extending into the Asia session, just like I said. And then astro hour here, just before the news, right on the news. Boom. Let me just make this a little bigger so you can see that one as well. Right on the dot, guys. Boom. Down. And then from here, this was an astro zone as well. And then from here, the market just goes up again. Hit the target as well, as you can see today in the Asia session now so we probably we pretty much got all that and the astro hours work really well as well so with the technical analysis targeting um, and timing as you can see just works so these are Thursday so let's get back to the gold now here we've got room to like I said go up let it go up because this is bound to hit a target somewhere and we've got 1827 and remember about the goodbye kiss 1836 right so that 1827 36 is going to be a target this week and to see it up there shouldn't surprise us until I'm going to put 1820 let's put 1824 and 1836 as you can see these targets are already done put this into 1836 there oops let me just get rid of these as well these are all done and let's move into a 5 minute chart a uh, 15 minute chart sorry I'm using the five or the one minute sometimes when we're doing the astro hours because it just like becomes really precise. You can just do it on the dot there. And there, as you can see, as soon as the news came out, the market just pretty much did the swings. Okay. So that's what we're talking about here. And that was <coughs> gold coming into that zone. Now we can get rid of this as well because now we're in a new week so until then so we should head up again all right so once we go back up again we're going to look for a place to short and that will be guys today you got to uh, this week you got to look out for if you're using the ATA software let's just do this Okay, what you got to look out for is the 7 and the 8th. Okay, cool. Alright, so the 7th and the 8th this week is going to be really interesting. So we'll probably see the market going up higher for those that are going up and lower for those that are going down. And then we're going to think about having a good swing down from those levels. Okay. Um, in the meantime, what you can do today is if the market pulls back into there 
or there. You can go along with it. If it doesn't, don't chase it. Pa be patient and just wait for it. Otherwise, you're going to get yourself into trouble. That's it. Same with the euro dollar. Okay, same with the euro dollar. And that's exactly what we want as well to mark it to reach those levels at 80. 1.0770 we've got. Where are we? Let's get rid of this. Let's move this into a 15 minute chart as well. 1.0770 is up there, but before that we we'll probably have this. As you can see, Euro dollar is also on the target there. So once we get onto a 15 minute chart, we can check this out again. So new week, market's got room to go up on the monthly got room to go up a little bit more it's open up here but that's 1.0666 1.0666 1.0666 1.0666 on the price okay this is on the price and then we've got this 78 1.0590 1.05 89 which is pretty much done okay 1.0589 oh sorry that's a 15 minute chart we're not going there on a 15 minute chart let's take a look at the daily we've got 80 here and that's 1.0770 that's a bit out there but it can do it and if we're looking for a major swing this week it will 1.0770 so we should come into this zone here Okay. Oops. Okay, 1.0770 there. So on the pullbacks, you're okay to go along at 1.0550 or the <coughs> white line here. Don't obviously no buying at the tops, right? Let the market come to you. And be a bit cautious because we're looking for turnarounds and you're in a sell zone. The best option is this guys. Wait for the market to give us a setup on the astro hours and the days and let's take it from there okay because then that way we can actually do something relevant okay uh, and then this should give us a good pullback so we should have like a few weeks of a downwards trend again I'd say if my calculation is correct okay so then we should be able to pull back okay into those levels that we talked about before so be patient wait for the decent setups because we're also in resistance zones here also there's a range that we could be coming up into this zone like i said in the 07 regions as well so you know be safe all right we're going to keep it astrological in terms of timing and that's going to help us out in the meantime if you want to go long like i said you can all right, but be mindful because like we're looking for a swing at the top, okay? So be mindful and that way you won't get stuck in between levels. So if you buy, do it with a smaller lot size uh, or be on top of your trade or cover your trade as and when um, things happen so you don't just let it, you know, run around somewhere. Don't leave the trade unattended or un... un uh, um, marked with a stop loss or a take profit let's take a look at us 30 weekly now this us 30 weekly here as you can see let's check out check out the monthly first we might come back all the way down to the 50 zone in this one which is 32 5 5 3 32 5 5 3 which is way down here 32 5 five three okay let's just do that now it's quite a bit down okay and let's get rid of these that's on the monthly right so it's quite a bit down so if we go back up again this week which we should do okay um which to levels that we marked in before which we should do so then the market should kind of like push back down 
okay because we filled in the gap here it's nice and easy they took out all the stops remember I talked about even highs uh, if you're with me and I also said uh, we could have like a nice ending diagonal here okay going in there and then a push down so if it matches our astro hours and astro swing days it'll be good to take that short at the top there okay so that's that um, what you can do is let's see what targets this has um, 69, 34, 34, 704, 34, 704, and then on the daily, you got 71.41, which is 34,888. 34,888 there does that sound good? ok uh, and if we get up into that region if it's, a, uh, if it's going to be one of those swing days which I'll put on the members area as well for the elite members then we're going to be looking for those shorts at Astro Hours, okay, because we're looking for a swing. Um, Bitcoin, same kind of thing, guys. Remember, I put these targets up here, the market is there. I said I'm not very excited about it, it's just how it is. Uh, the market can come up to a good buy kiss, and we said, yep, that's fine, not a problem at all. Um, let's just make this a little more friendly for us scale fix let's do this let's delete that let's make this 10,000 ok so there Alright, so we don't mind going up here, testing the waters a little bit more. We'll be looking for swings on this one as well. Now on the weekly, that's 41, which is 18,896. Okay, 18,896. 18,896. So somewhere around there, okay. I'm going to keep that up there. It's a bit far out, but doesn't matter. Simply because, in fact, let's turn this into an hour chart. All right, you already know by now that I'm not saying it's going to go there. But if that is a target, we'll be looking to sell there because we're going to look for a swing for these either. Now on the weekly, these are the levels you've got to be careful about as well. Okay, so we should step into this zone on the daily. Let's take a look where that is there okay so this is a zone this 18500 is a zone if you want to do your goodbye kiss here there that's going to be a zone so this zone this zone is going to be a swing zone for us so we're going to be looking to take shorts from these levels okay and that's how it is so we'll see when we get there so as you can see like I said I'm not very excited about the up move um, but I am excited about seeing this lower head into our range. Basically, that's just how it is. Okay, uh, and nice to see that we're up on target from last week as well. Last week I did say um, on Thursday, Friday, Wednesday I said, guys, I'm just you know it's just sideways choppy, not really worth doing anything, um, and that's basically how it just panned out. Okay, so today is Monday, Sunday, Saturday, um, that's Friday, Thursday, as you can see it's just pretty choppy, so I wasn't very excited with this at all. Monday was a swing day, I noted in the um, elite members area, if you took Monday as a swing low, because impulse wave, market pulls back, does a swing, if you took this trade then you would have been okay anyway. Um, as a swing day going all the way up into Friday and Saturday um, up into this zone here 
Right, but that's just how it is. So we're looking to catch swings from the highs on Bitcoin. As you know, I'm not trading Bitcoin. I just hodl it, and I'm going to hodl it when it comes down. We've still got astrological timing for that. So it should see a spot where we should turn around. Uh, and that should be that zone there. All right, so this week, be mindful. It's either going to be this zone or that zone there, slightly up. Um, if it does make a huge leap, I've marked it there on the weekly, as you can see. All right, so it's a bit up there, but that is also doable if the market starts breaking upwards. Okay, so that's that. If you're trading Bitcoin, I'd wait until the swing day and then the swing day or the day before all right so and then think about taking that trade at the astro hour <laughs>